When I was younger, the thought of not losing weight always bugged me. Despite consuming smaller portions, it didn't seem like it was making a difference. I even tried to eat twice a day, but I still ended up being the chubby one. You know how it sucks to be teased because of your weight, right? Later on, I gave up on myself and accepted the fact that maybe I'm meant to be chubby all my life. Until our PE teacher discussed metabolism and how it affects our weight. According to him, metabolism helps in breaking down carbohydrates and converting it to energy. And that's how we lose weight. If you're still confused at how metabolism works, we're glad to help you share our knowledge regarding the matter with Catabolism and Anabolism? How to have fast metabolism. Hi there! Looking for something fun and healthy? Come and be in your best shape with us! Welcome to Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, where we go on our healthy lifestyle journey one step at a time. I am Mrs. Blue, here to give you science-based facts about metabolism and ways on how to boost it for effective weight loss. Before we begin, if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to keep you updated on how to lose weight and stay healthy along the way. First, let's ask the question, what is metabolism? The term metabolism is used to describe all chemical reactions that take part in maintaining the living state of our cells and organisms inside our body. We interpret metabolism as an instrument for breaking down food and converting it to energy. And now we know that it's only a very small part of it. It compromises a lot of processes that are vital in keeping our bodies healthy and working properly. Metabolism is divided into two, namely catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism is the one responsible for breaking down molecules to obtain energy which is the one we talked about earlier. And on the other hand, anabolism is the synthesis of all compounds needed by the cells to attain a healthy living state. To give you a better grasp, one example of catabolism is glycolysis and bone growth, mineralization, and muscle mass buildup for anabolism. Now, let's answer the question, why is metabolism important? The process of metabolism includes the combination of nutrients and oxygen that will be used as energy. And without it, our body will fail to perform its vital functions, such as heart rate, brain function, and breathing. Can you imagine a world without metabolism? I can't. We would certainly be dead by then, or we would cease to exist. That would be a very lonely world, wouldn't it? Enjoying this video so far? Go ahead and give this video a like and feel free to share it with your friends who would find it really helpful. Help us grow our fun and healthy community. We as human beings need to help our body enhance its metabolic rate. And how are we going to do that? By supplying sufficient amounts of nutrients useful for energy conversion. Our bodies have metabolic or biochemical pathways which is the cell's main source of energy. And with minimum amounts of nutrients, our body will produce minimal energy. See where I'm going with this? Your nutrient intake will reflect your body's function. If you're feeling tired as always, maybe it's because you don't consume enough. Here are the essential nutrients you should look out for. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, around 20 inorganic elements, carbohydrates, lipids, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Your sources of carbohydrates are divided into different forms, starch, sugar, and cellulose, also known as fiber, which are our main sources of energy. On the other hand, protein, found in meat products, tofu, eggs, and more, is responsible for building body tissues, cell structure and functions, forming hemoglobin for oxygen delivery throughout the body, supplying nitrogen to DNA and RNA, and many more. Protein is really important. 
because it contains a lot of essential amino acids. So don't skip your protein, okay? Your metabolism will be needing those. I think you've already noticed that not all of us have the same body structure. Some people are blessed enough to have a fast metabolic rate. These are the ones who don't need to cut off their food intake and partake in exercises and still be skinny. How I envy those people! And there are some, like me, who have a slow metabolic rate. We're the ones who need to exercise and diet for us to lose weight. And these take a lot of time. Regardless, I want you to know that we're all beautiful in our own ways, okay? Okay, good. But don't worry, there's no need to be sad and hopeless because there are natural ways on how to boost our metabolism for efficient weight loss. Drink coffee, stand up more often, shift from cooking fats with coconut oil, drink green tea or oolong tea, do HIT or high intensity interval training, get quality sleep, eat a lot of protein, eat spicy food, start heavy lifting, and drink cold water. Put all of these on your daily to-do list, and I'm sure that you'll be able to achieve your fitness goal. When you become successful in doing so, a healthy lifestyle will follow. Good luck with your journey. We're rooting for you guys. Let's go! How about you? Do you have tips in mind you wish to share with us? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. We're reading all of your feedback and requests so we can better our channel for the benefit of everyone. So if you like this video, leave a heartfelt comment. If you don't, you can also leave a comment. All thoughts are welcome. Concerned about your immune system because of the ongoing pandemic? Check out our video, How to Boost Immune System Against COVID-19, Health Literacy. Seeking for health inspiration? Feel free to visit and follow our Facebook page and Instagram account, Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, where we share motivational quotes to help people go through their fitness journey with a positive mindset. That is all for today. Again, I am Mrs. Blue. Don't forget, walk on your fitness journey one step at a time. Mr. Pink and Mrs. Blue, your health gurus, will see you in the next one. Bye!